my friends, it's time for us to do our days of the week song and our number of the week. Let's start off with our song. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Today is Wednesday, then tomorrow is going to be what? That's right, Thursday. Let's read this, shall we? Yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Good job. All right, friends, who remembers? What was our number last week? That's right, it was the number six. So what number comes after six? That's right, the number seven right here. Oops, it's not doing that, there we go. The number seven. So let's look at that. Is seven a lonely number or a number pair? That's right, friends. It is a lonely number because it doesn't have a partner. And all lonely numbers go in the tens place. No? Why not? Oh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. It doesn't have a partner. So all lonely numbers go in the ones place. So let's write the number seven. Remember, we always start at the top and we come down just like when we do our letters. Line over and a line down. That, my friends, is the number seven. Can you say that? Seven. Good job. So then, when we're gonna write the word seven, what letter do you think it starts with? What makes the sound? Yes, it starts with the letter S. S. E, V, E, N. This is the numeral seven. That is the word seven. Good job. So how many of these squares do we need to count? Seven, good. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how many squares did we count? Seven, good job. Now friends, I'm going to teach you something new called a number bond. And this is what we're gonna put in the top. We are gonna put our number of the week in the top. That's the number seven. So we're just gonna put that right there for now. And we're gonna move over to our 10 frame counting and come back to this because this will help you with this, okay? So how many circles will we count out? Seven, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Very good. Now, friends, we need to know how many are in our in our or in our rows, and then in our columns. How many in this row? That's right. There are five. How many in this row? That's right. There are two. Good job. So five plus two equals seven. Good job. How many are in, now let's count our columns. How many dots in this column? Two. How many in this column? Plus two plus one plus, good, plus one equals seven. Friends, you just made two math equations. Number bonds over here are just like our math sentences. What is one math sentence you can pull from here that would fit into here? That's right. So if I put a five here, and then what number would I put here? Two, that's right. So five plus two is seven, good. So friends, this is called a number bond as well. And we are going to continue to do those so that we know as many ways to make a number bond or to come up with our number of the week. All right.